Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are the headlines. The International Monetary Fund has said Greece may need its debt repayment suspended for 30 years. It criticized the bailout deal offered to Greece by its European creditors earlier, saying the debt was highly unsustainable. Meanwhile, more than half of the members of Syriza said they will vote against the agreement reached in Brussels. And Deputy Finance Minister Nadia Valavani quit. Parliament will have to back reforms on Wednesday if it's to get more funds. The changes include raising taxes and the age of retirement. Tsipras said himself on Tuesday he did not believe in the reforms demanded by creditors. The Communist Party's official newspaper in China has said the successful diplomatic approach of the Iranian nuclear negotiations should be applied to North Korea's nuclear issue. The People's Daily condemned sanctions and what is said were threats made by several world powers against Pyongyang. North Korea walked away from nuclear talks with South Korea, the United States, Russia and Japan in 2009. China was among the six world powers that reached a deal with Tehran on Tuesday under which Iran's nuclear program would be curbed in return for sanctions being lifted. Australian artist Jody Maggi has been deported from the United Arab Emirates. Maggi was jailed and fined after she posted a photo on Facebook of a car blocking disabled spaces in a car park. Maggi was found guilty last month of writing bad words on social media under the UAE's cybercrime law and detained when she went to pay the fine. She said she was forced to spend 53 hours in the Abu Dhabi prison and was shackled at the ankles, strip-searched and had no access to toilet paper or eating utensils. The UN says it has already met this year's goal of treating 15 million people who have HIV. The availability of antiretroviral drugs around the world helped the program. The UN's AIDS agency said a concerted global effort over the next five years could stop the epidemic by 2030. The UN also reported people with HIV now live 20 years longer than they did in 2001. Thanks for watching. TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.